demo in the Jardin booth right now. So I'm gonna just going to step up and kind of give you a sneak peek at what she's doing and what the viewers are able to see here at the trade show. Now, I also like to take about a 10 blade length, which is about the center. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good. Jay, what are you doing? Good. Could you tell us, I know I'm interrupting, but could you tell the viewers at home what you're using and what you're doing, what breed you're working on? I am using the new Juice, which is lithium ion battery technology, and it runs for about two hours. It's got an adjustable blade, very nice. And I just did Teddy's under his eyes with that, and it look, if it, on the longer setting, it leaves kind of a natural, soft, almost blending sheer finish. And we're going for the teddy bear look. So we want those cute, soft teddy bear ears. So we're gonna take, and I'm gonna leave it on the longer setting. And I actually scooped out the entire inside of the ear so that that's all gone. And we're gonna take out and just clean that little bit right there. And then I'm gonna grab our brand new bolt, this bolt guy. This is takes all our A5 blades, and I love this thing. It's 5F. Turn it on, put any any of your, and it takes wall and this, um, the lobby blades. And I'm going to take the bottom two-thirds off with that 5F. Now notice how Chris is holding the bottom of the ear tight. So when she's skimming over the top of the ear, she can actually feel the ear leather. You know, she's making sure she's not going to cut the dog. Um, she's going in the direction that the coat grows. That's right. And you want to go nice and flat. And see, by leaving that top third, it's going to blend into the head really nice. And then I'll use scissors to trim around the edge, but it gives you that teddy bear fluff without all the effort. So now I'm going to take the same uh, clipper, and I'm going to take a half. Uh, do you have a half up here? And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to okay. Half and you'll find that your 30 blades or 40 blades work best under the comb attachment. So I've got a 30 here. And I'm going to take Ted. And one of the things that you have to do and remember when you're working on any type of head like this is that the hair grows like um, down and it grows back. And you want to be careful not to cross the clipper pattern. So what I like to do is take and hold this up and take the chin with our new bolt, and that again is a half inch comb, and go back. And I actually push that beard hair to the outside corner of the eye, so I take a lot of length off here as well. Then we're gonna come around the ear and blend. Now is this something you would do on most of your drop coated breeds, this technique? I, I love this technique on Maltese, Shih Tzus, Lhasas, a lot of these mixed breeds. It just, it, it takes, look at I didn't touch it with scissors yet and it's already starting to be nice and round without a big gaudy beard underneath. So that I, the trimming that I have to do with scissors is minimal and it's always the same. Because I use the comb attachments, I start with the right length right off the bat. So. I'm pretty happy. Let me grab a comb here and see what I've got. We've got the Oster 10 inch comb. And I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything else that needs to come off. We're gonna blend just a little bit more. And again, here it's back. And then here the hair comes down. You're gonna go right around and blend into the neck. Make sure on these teddy bear heads that you clean the throat right up to the Adam's apple, because that's going to be your line where you start right at the Adam's apple, right there. Nice and clean. You can go all the way to the back of the ear, follow the jaw line if you want to get that line nice and clean. And then from here, it's just grab your scissors and clean it up. Now, what is the key as far as when you're doing a little mixed breed head or teddy bear or Shih Tzu, what is the key to getting that separation between the head where it doesn't look like anything's bl everything's blended in from the chin into the neck? You want you well. You want to see a separation. Is that what you're looking for? Just where you where you can make that head more expressive than everything blending in. Well, I like to use the jaw line to be my definition, and that's why I took and hit it reverse so that you can see the line without it looking like a sharp line. So we are going to go ahead and take our scissors and then scissor up around that jaw line. Sorry, Teddy and get that cleaned up. Then we're gonna take 
and trim the outside edge of the ear with our scissors with the grain. Always scissor with the grain. If you scissor against, you're going to end up feeding the shear right into the leather, and you don't want to do that. Get a nice little round ear. Then we're going to take and comb this forward. And I like to slide my curves right up underneath. And I will actually take and pull the eyelashes out. Do you see all this stuff that just came out? No. Look at the difference, how nice and clean that is. Now, what do you do if the clients are adamant about wanting the eyelashes left on the dog? <laughs> well, they're paying the bill. So um, I have a friend, you know, Miss Hudson, that works here at the booth. Miss Hudson's favorite thing is you know that those, those eyelashes cause cataracts. And for some reason that works for her customers. Um, I just play blonde and say, oops, I accidentally cut them off. But um, if there's somebody that's adamant, I'll go ahead and leave them and then just hold them down and clean up above it. And then try and kind of take a little off. But it's really not good. It le collects dirt and things, so it's better to cut them off. Sometimes just telling the owners the health aspect of it makes a difference, so it'll help them. All right. Thank you, Chris. We'll be back. Okay, Thanks. Bye.